I will be walking you through for the CV task. Let's have a look at the description. So we need to investigate the CV page and find the vulnerability. Uh, our objective is to find a way in and uh, read the flag from the folder home slash and the file flag.txt. Let's have a look at this uh, target for a little bit. We have a web page, looks quite static page. What do we have here? Okay, everything seems uh, static except this contact me form. And my sharp eye recognizes that it's powered by PHP mailer. That might be one hint for the vulnerability, but uh, let's do some uh, basic reconnaissance and enumeration on the target just to be safe if uh, there is uh, possibly anything else. Let's uh, start by scanning the IP address of the target. We don't need reverse DNS resolution. We don't need uh, host alive checking. And we will specify that we want to scan all the ports. Okay, we will see that uh, only web port is open, at least on the TCP side. Uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, on UDP side there is no point of uh, scanning, but let's have a little bit more enumeration done on the target. Let's uh, brute force the directories with Tirby using uh, a default uh, word list. Okay, we are getting something. What do we see? We have index.php available, code is 200, it's okay. PHP info and server status, it's 403. Maybe the PHP info will be useful for us. Let's have it open. Okay, we see that it is actually working. PHP info is shown to us. I'm not going to analyze it very thoroughly right now but maybe some information might be useful when we actually start exploiting, maybe the Apache version or something else. Uh, investigating the target more, let's have a look at this next clue, PHP mailer. Could there be any exploits available for this? Easiest to verify it is to use a search ploit. Okay, here is a lot of juicy data. We see that we have uh, multiple remote code execution vulnerabilities. We have denial of service. We have local file disclosure. Of course, uh, remote code execution is uh, probably the, the way we want to go as our goal was to uh, find access to the target. So let's uh, move to the metasploit to see if uh, we can exploit this vulnerability. Opening up the MSF console. Here we are and uh, let's uh, search from the metasploit also for this vulnerability. Okay, we see that Metasploit by default has two exploits available. We have uh, PHP mailer send mail argument injection and the WordPress PHP mailer host header command injection. I can uh, guess fairly certainly that this web application is not based on WordPress, 
So we will be using the first exploit, specifying use zero for the first exploit. Having a look at the options that I need to give to Metasploit to exploit the target, we see that the R host is required. Let's set this up. and uh, require this target URI. We have this setup and also the web root. Uh, we don't know the web root uh, folder at the moment, but as we had the PHP info available on this target, we can verify the web root folder. And actually we can see from here that the webroot folder is not the default one. We need to change the webroot folder to uh, slash dub dub dub. Okay, so let's verify the options once more just in case. What do we have? We have the remote host, the target IP address, the port is 80, it's running on HTTP, uh, web root is now correct, and the payload is meter operator reverse TCP shell. Our IP address, our port, and the exploit name. So let's run it. Let's see what is going to happen. So our reverse TCP handler was started on port 4444. Backdoor is going to be written to this web root folder into a PHP file. So PHP reverse shell. Waiting for up to 300 seconds. This might take a little bit of time, but we just need to wait it out. There is also a possibility that uh, this exploit will not work, but we will see. We had another option also that we can try, but let's continue with this one. Okay, the Metasploit framework is saying that successfully found the payload. This is a very good sign. Probably we have exploited the target successfully. Still some uh, waiting sleep happening on the back end. Okay, we now see that the uh, interpreter session was opened. We see the connection. We, need, we see that the payload was deleted from the host. Now we need to wait for interpreter shell. It should come up right now and we see it. Let's see what do we have. We have the shell. So what was the place where we need to get the flag? Home slash flag dot txt. Flag dot txt. Okay. We have some, some flag string. Let's see if this is working. Submit the answer. And it was working. So this was a walkthrough of a relatively simple uh, web target that was that had a vulnerable uh, component, PHP mailer. Thank you for your attention.